Is it true that reason and science and morality are on the side of the atheist? Is it true that Christian theism in particular is irrational, unscientific, immoral? They think that reason is on their side. That is, belief in God and religion is irrational. And ironically, I thought I was too smart to become a Christian, and now I've given my life for a, a defense of the Christian faith to demonstrate that Christianity is worth thinking about. Because I can assure you we live in a culture where there are people struggling with some strongholds, not just non-believers, but even believers who struggle with things about their faith. And yet we are sitting in comfortable padded seats while there's a world out there dying and going to hell with questions and we just, you know, pat them on the back and say, just have more faith. What does that even mean? We've never really given them any evidence. We just say, go out and believe. Most evangelical students, when they get to college, they can't give a reason, an objective reason why Christianity is true. I realized I didn't really know what I believed or why I believed it because if all of this was real and if it was true, uh, this is all they would have talked about and all I would have heard every time I visited the church. But because I didn't, I figured I must have been missing something. El problema es que la mayoría de nosotros sabemos lo que creemos, pero no sabemos por qué lo creemos. Ustedes saben cuál es la manera más rápida para que sus hijos pierdan su fe o ustedes pierdan su fe? Es no dejarlos que hagan preguntas. We're supposed to know what we believe and why we believe it. Most people have not learned how to think carefully through an issue. And nowadays, strong display of emotion passes for an argument. But I'm reminded of something that Christ said in Matthew chapter 5, verse 13. He said that you are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its purpose, it's no longer good for anything. Our culture is disintegrating because the godly people are abandoning ship. We don't know why we believe what we believe. Why do 75% of young people walk away from the church once they go to college? One of the major reasons is they don't know why it's true, because we've never told them why it's true. I hope more people are going to host these conferences because they're very important. When we're losing three out of four young people from the church, what could be more important than equipping them to stay in the church? At the Unapologetic Conference, we try and show people why Christianity is true. They need this information.